Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bits be tripping. We're going to do something a little different today. We're not covering any hardware. We are going to cover what I have been watching on crypto Twitter and just in general, the space within cryptocurrency. You're going to want to watch this. This might be a little controversial. There's drama for the folks that are going to click off this video. We're going to talk through proof of work mining, not just with Bitcoin, but specific to the kind of Bitcoin maximalist views. And we're going to cover some stuff through other mining and why other people would continue to mine and all that stuff. So let's get into this. We're going to throw some stuff from back in the past and this and everything else. So the main part of this discussion that I want to talk about and just straight into the chase. If you have ever mined or you are a current miner in this space when it comes to cryptocurrency mining, you should never ever be apologetic for chasing your passion and your dreams in this space to uphold security for a network period end of story if folks are giving you a hard time for doing any kind of altcoin mining while there are questionable for sure no question cryptocurrencies out there that are like beyond speculation they're just outright scams people that have spun up coins to totally try to crash cash grab it all comes back into the dynamic of the setup of the coin to identify that and understand if you are a miner or a would-be miner that is going to mine and support a alt architecture to understand what that what that coin is what what where did it come from does it have a built-in pre-mine does it have a DAO or some kind of uh, currency sharing you know like and we'll use examples of different coins and stuff out there. Is there a tax on the labor that you're putting in on your mining as part of that network or not? And then you can make a, a, a distinction, right? So as somebody that may ever potential start to mine, you need to understand the networks that you're mining and what their basic fundamentals are, what their structure is, what the payout structure is. Are there pools and stuff that are situated to that? And then come into understanding what coins you're going to start to mine. If most people immediately snap a line if they, if they see cryptocurrency mining, if it's GPU or anything else, and they go, can I make money on it? What's the future aspect of money that you can make on a particular coin? And that's really about as far as it goes. It looks at like, what equipment can I put on it? Can I make money on it? End of story. And that money is usually fiat in some way, right? And that's what I, I don't want to call what gives miners kind of a bad rap from people that don't mine or have any concept of mining, but it's all just about profit and money. Then you have maximalism, right? You have people that are all and only about Bitcoin, which I am not just all in about Bitcoin. I'm a pro crypto space person, and we'll get into that here in a second. But I've been mining and around more than probably 99.9% .9 of the entire ecosystem. I've been in this space. I've lived to breathe it. You guys have seen it since 2013. Before that, I was on forums showing you guys how to mine, typing things out. That was primarily started with just Bitcoin. When I first started mining, it was just Bitcoin. We believed in the concept of the freedom that Bitcoin could bring. We upheld the network, not for money. It was upheld to be a participant in something. Circumstantially, we got a token. And circumstantially, that token turned into being very valuable from the scarcity aspects of the way Bitcoin is designed from its inflation rate and its fixed supply, right? Very key dynamics that gives Bitcoin a huge amount of price scarcity, which then also drives its price. And Bitcoin being focused on decentralization, resistant when it comes to censorship, immutability because of the size of the network of the miners, meaning that one company can't just come in there and buy up all these miners. They may try. When you look at the ecosystem as a whole, it reacts to that, right? It reacts. So in 2013, 2014, there was a pool that started getting most of the hash rate. It was close to 50%. And the entire community came together and was like, hey, you know, that's probably not a good thing to understand the fundamentals. Bitcoin has a core decentralized but wisdom of the crowd back end to it and it's it makes absolute sense why there's very passionate people and just bitcoin and wants to just focus on bitcoin and that's fine 
but the ecosystem at a whole thrives from the participation of the development of that and the innovation and the aspects that can grow cryptocurrency, not just from, you know, self-sovereign individual standpoints, Bitcoin standard situations, but the innovation on the, on the development of decentralized finance, being able to take liquidity loans out where you don't have to sell your crypto and you can take effectively a 401k loan and you're not having to pay tax in that way. You can borrow against your asset. And that transcends past just Bitcoin. That transitions to anything that actually has a aspect to it that allows people to lock up liquidity, right? And uh, when I read some of the content that's out there of people that are just like, oh, you mine Bitcoin, that's great. You have some miners. I have three ant miners here that should be plugged in right now, but we just got them in. We configure them. We ship them to our farm. But you also mine shit coins. Well, I mean, we're supporting other networks that have development on them, that are, that are moving the needle in this space, that are growing more participation. It's not just about Bitcoin. It's about the entire crypto ecosystem. And yes, there's sections of it that are fraudulent and are highly speculative, extreme degen activity and people that are just genuinely trying to screw other people over. But then there's aspects of huge amounts of development and innovation, people that are inspired that they get up every morning and they wake up and they're like, I love working in this space. I'm trying to make a difference. Those are the developers in the ecosystem. They may not mine. They may be a proof of stake coin, but they're developing further technology in this aspects that all of us inherit as you know, stored value into the effort that's being put forward that helps bring price discovery to those things. That's Ethereum, that's Solana, that's some of these other networks that are out there that are not just all proof of work. The risk is, like we talk about all the time on the non-proof of work coins is the consensus mechanism, censorship resistant side of things is proof of work is still the best system. Proof of stake has not proved itself out yet. If anything, there's been aspects of proof of stake that have been very deterring from some of that risk where you have, I'll use Solana as an, another example, to where you can have complete network reboots and reconfigs where there's a, a socialization of a way to, to move forward and a rapidity, a very rapid way to go and reboot the network and all, all node operators just comply while that's fast from a, a delivery standpoint, the risk is is like what other existential influences can push a negative direction on a crypto network that can move that agile, that can be controlled in that way, right? There's a lot of these things that need to be discussed and talked to, but people will automatically classify that activity as straight up shit coining, right? They're like, oh, nope, it's out. It's not as featured as Bitcoin. And that's part of the issue is that people don't have a broader acceptance of understanding of that this ecosystem as a whole drives the innovation that we all see drives the transition of traditional finance traditional fintech tech to crypto as an ecosystem this will not be all driven by bitcoin however bitcoin has the opportunity to learn from the innovation that is from there and the folks that are participating in Bitcoin and inherit some of that discovery and make a Bitcoin version of that, a Bitcoin versions of an enhancement of the lightning network, a Bitcoin and add in some level of smart contracts where you can have stored functionality that is setting on chain that can execute based on that Oracle architecture, all of these things and aspects that are being brought forth by other crypto networks where people may realize like, hey, I don't want to be in a proof of stake network now because there's uh, a federation of sorts in a deterministic network. I want to move back over to a decentralized network. And now some of that effort transfers over. Bottom line, this ecosystem is vibrant and it's driven by the totality of it. And what dr what's driving me to have this conversation with you guys is seeing some of that feedback, seeing our own postings and feedback of people you know, uh, when we are congratulating folks expanding their proof of work operations in some way, and then I tag people on, you know, GPU mining or, you know, some aspect of other cryptocurrencies 
And they're like, hey, man, don't tag me in that because I'm only pro Bitcoin. And it's like, you're pro crypto, bro. You just don't know it. You think you're only pro Bitcoin, but you inherit the value of all the effort that's on these networks. And people need to have a better appreciation of that scope because it is driving the bottom line. Like it or not, it is a, a part and parcel of the success of everything. And, you know, it's a dysfunctional family. And I always tell people that, like, this is like a dysfunctional family on there. And you may not, you know, have a good relationship with your cousin, but you don't realize that the family as a whole is stronger. And that's what crypto is to this entire space is as you learn that new capability, you can start to manifest where it could be in the coin that you love. So final point, if you're a miner in this space and you're down because you're looking at like, well, is this, is it, am I putting the right effort into this or should I make all of my investment in Bitcoin? Never be apologetic for that understand the networks do the research understand the risk to a network um understand is it a pre-mined network are you going to get dumped on um is there some separation you didn't realize is there a direction and a roadmap that they have that may not uh promote proof of work if you're a proof of work miner and you know make your decisions accordingly you know don't just do everything on profit it's a longer term you got to zoom out as people will say on what is the best possibility that's going to drive innovation in this space, thereby also driving potential value to what you're mining. So hopefully this wasn't too ranty. I know it was kind of all over, but I just felt like I had to say that uh, for being in this space longer than most people that you hear words come out of their mouths in this space, I'm bringing some wisdom to you for the long term that I've been in here. It's everything it all matters. All right, my dudes. Hopefully this was good. I'll catch you guys on the next one.